Hey, we got the Punchkey Polka in the house there. Tom Rashka in the music box. Lydia, who definitely knows how to throw a party. Thanks for everyone who came out and all that schnitzel beer and champagne and all that poured all morning long and most of the afternoon. Uh, this is mastered by Clint Holly and Dave Polster, Well Might Music, and manufactured by Gutter Groove. In other words, the best in the business. Uh, we're part of this record, and it's definitely Cleveland history. And I'm Big Crown. This is actually what got, hit me to Big Crown. This goes out to Lola and the Big Apple and Sister Kate in Brooklyn. It's a true dang floor stomper and heart smasher of a 7-inch. Terrorize my heart. Uh, we had tons of these when it first came out. And, of course, uh, always trying to get more because it's such a killer record. And Codeine and Bedhead. Don't tell Marie. This is uh, Bedhead was her favorite band of all time, probably. Maybe. Uh, Slowcore stuff just came out. Nice 7-inch there. And uh, Billy Butler and Infinity Whatever. Fair from uh, good old Mr. Bongo out of London, folk soul and breaks, and uh, Lady Lee on the B side. Um, it's pretty cool stuff here. This uh, definitely a uh, northern soul with a syncopatic feel with the fallen steam water leaves of an early eco consciousness. And uh, Lady Lee's uh, soul glitters with extrachrome diamonds and pineapple centerpieces and purple paisley. And we've also got Angelo Outlaw. More on this uh, later, but a uh, great seven inch here on Eraser Hood Sound. Um, it's uh, serious soul jazz here. A vibraphone uh, rocked and touched by the hand of a poet, accompanied by a uh, laser guided synthmatic uh, majesty of some of the guys from Fantasy 15. It's Exotica for the Outer Space set, drifting through the same uh, undersea garden dream as Cal Chater. Definitely recommend it. And also, of course, Ghost Funk Orchestra, Trip to the Moon, a Jazz Funk Space Odyssey. We've got black vinyl. We've also got uh, that limited sea glass black swirl vinyl. A uh, really cool record. Record, actually, it's like Charday trapped in a NASA space capsule by Dr. Evil and being coerced to record an Exotica album in zero gravity at 15 G's. Spy Jazz splattered by fuzzy guitars. Far out funk for the lounge lizards with all the Formica Deluxe options to tip the cocktail nation. And we got more ghost funk too, you know, a new kind of love, a uh, good cosmic lounge there, whiplash snake tail guitar, and uh, some twisted psychedelic soul and die roll syndicate crime gambles uh, revision tapes. Uh, also, Tanita Takaram, Ancient Heart from 88, uh, interesting pop rock stuff. She was 19 years old when she recorded it, uh, really deep, interesting, exotic voice. And uh, this is sealed, man. The last time this breathed air, most of us could not even drive. Also got Madonna from 89, sealed like a prayer. And uh, Deborah Harry, deaf, dumb, and blonde, a promo from 89, a journey from 75. This is no Don't Stop Believing. This is uh, Serious Hard Prague out of San Francisco. And Ricky Lee Jones also got a promo here. Um, provocative percussion from 59, some really good Space Age Bachelor pad music. And it's also pretty decent uh, Bachelorette pad music, too, with all the velour and fur and everything else. Uh, definitely recommended. Uh, and also out of Minneapolis, Taja Savelle. Let's go with this. Soul Funk Stuff, 12-inch. Oh, that good old Minneapolis sound. This is an excellent, uh, excellent record. And the Poker Revival continues. Almost 200 years old for the form, and it just keeps going. This is from the mid-60s. It's scarce. It's good. We got it. We played all this stuff, and we'll keep playing it. And a lot of Royale uh, would just love this record. White vinyl. Actually, this hype sticker basically tells it all. Uh, it's a very modern uh, foot-forward R&B record, an absolute show showcase of a record indeed with poignant and deeply affecting songwriting and singing smooth as a chocolate shake and glittering with the ochre sparkle and jewels and gems at the televised gala uh, really this is a serious heartfelt achievement it draws blood in a blender with the teary glamour of mink all the pain of living popped in a pill and absolutely all this solidly distilled by way of top shelf song craft that, that grows with each play I can't even just recommend a single song like the whole b-side is just excellent and it just ends on such a great poignant note um I just love all these songs. And actually, uh, Lana's going to be DJing, uh, I think, March 6th out in L.A. at Gold Diggers uh, at the Kendra Morris Show, along with our buddy DJ Ivy. That uh, is going to be just such an epic thing. I know we got a lot of L.A. people watching here, so you definitely want to go check that out and support that out on East Hollywood. And Zoltandia, we uh, got some color variants here. This is actually creamy purple colors, so I know a lot of you guys love this, just like Rebella de Mare. And uh, this is definitely, indeed, a collectible record. Uh, more on that later. Eric Clapton, uh, they're uh, approved by Jeff and Flash, friends of the store there on WMMS. Uh, big rock and roll radio of the 80s. Uh, Dr. Hook revisited uh, from 76. And Chris Darrow uh, from uh, Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. This is actually a really scarce collectible record from 72. Um, and uh, white label promo. All this and more at the current year. Uh, check out tcyshop.com. 24 hours. You can do in-store pickup 
or we can ship it direct right to your door. And uh, definitely subscribe to our YouTube. All those likes, comments, and uh, shares, etc., etc., mean a lot because we are seriously indie and seriously trying to uh, achieve something here with your help. So thank you very much. 